Welcome to the IELTS Secrets Podcast, where we help you maximize your speaking and writing scores for the IELTS exam. I'm your host, Neil, an IELTS instructor from New Zealand, here to guide you through today's topic, family and friends. Today, we'll be exploring four common questions you might encounter in the speaking section of your IELTS exam along with the importance of using specific speaking templates to structure your responses effectively. Question 1. Do you prefer spending time with your family or with your friends? When answering this question, it's essential to showcase your ability to express balanced viewpoints. You can use a speaking template like this. I would say that I enjoy spending my free time both with my friends and with my family. For example, while my friends and I, and then talk about a certain activity that you like doing, my family and I talk about another specific activity that all of you are involved in. Now, let's listen to a Ben Nye response based on this template. Do you prefer spending time with your family or with your friends? I would say that I enjoy spending my free time both with my friends and with my family. For example, while my friends and I like to go out for dinner or watch movies together, my family and I often enjoy outdoor activities like hiking or having barbecues in the backyard. Both experiences bring me joy and fulfillment in different ways. Next. Question 2. Can you compare the activities that you do with your friends and your family? Here, it's important to highlight the differences in the activities you engage in with your friends versus your family. Use a template like this. Well, when it comes to my friends, all of us are really passionate about. On the other hand, what my family and I really like doing is. Now, let's listen to a great Ben Nine response. Can you compare the activities that you do with your friends and your family? Well, when it comes to my friends, all of us are really passionate about trying out new restaurants and exploring the city together. On the other hand, what my family and I really like doing is spending quality time at home, cooking together, playing board games, or simply having heartfelt conversations. While both activities are enjoyable, they cater for different aspects of my social life. Question 3. Do you think it's important for your family and friends to like each other? Expressing your opinion clearly and providing relevant examples is key to answering this question effectively. Use a template like this. I most definitely do. One reason for this is, for example, now let's listen to a Ben Nine response. Do you think it is important for your family and friends to like each other? I most definitely do. One reason for this is that having mutual respect and admiration among both my family and friends creates a harmonious atmosphere whenever we get together. For example, during special occasions like birthdays or holidays, seeing my family and friends enjoying each other's company enhances the overall experience and strengthens our bond. Question 4. Can you compare your relationships with friends and family? Differentiating between your relationships with friends and family is crucial here. Use a template like this. I would say... The main difference would be the way we in interact with each other. Let's compare both kinds of interactions. On the one hand, on the other hand. Now, let's listen to a Ben Nye response. Can you compare your relationships with friends and family? I would say the main difference would be the way we interact with each other. Let's compare both kinds of interactions. On the one hand, with my friends, Interactions are often more casual and spontaneous, filled with laughter and shared experiences. On the other hand, interactions with my family tend to be more rooted in tradition and deeper emotional connections, 
where we support and cherish each other through thick and thin. Remember, dear IELTS candidates, you can maximize your speaking score by answering these questions using the provided templates. Record your responses and send them to our website for professional evaluation and personalized feedback. That's all for today's episode of the IELTS Secrets Podcast. Stay tuned for more tips and strategies to ace your IELTS exam. Until next time, happy studying.